Hi, Mr. Sapone here, and bringing you the third video in our mole series. And we're going to talk about how to convert moles between grams, uh, liters, and atoms, and so on. Um, but we're going to start simpler. So let's say you have a block of purple awesomeness. Yes, this is a real substance. It's purple awesomeness, if you don't know what that is. Shame on you, you haven't been living. Um, so this block of purple awesomeness weighs 2 grams. What will three blocks of purple awesomeness weigh? And probably in your head, hopefully you can do that in your head, you know that it's going to weigh six grams because you got two, blo uh, two grams plus two grams plus two grams. Um, but we're going to want to do this using unit conversions because we're going to do moles. And it's really going to be the same thing as this, converting, but um, it's not going to be as intuitive to you. So using conversion factors are going to help us. And we would actually solve this using conversion factors by saying three blocks and I'm going to put PA for purple awesomeness times. Well, the unit that goes up here has got to go down here. So a uh, block of PA has to go down here. And I want to go into grams. I want to know what it weighs. Grams are going to go up here. And these units cancel. What's the relationship between grams and blocks? Well, one block weighs two grams. And essentially, you multiply this and you come up with six grams. And I know this convolutes a very easy problem to solve. It makes it harder, but I just want to reintroduce the idea of unit conversions. They're very important as we're doing moles and as we move to stoichiometry, you're going to want to set things up systematically like this, or you're probably going to get lost. Um, so we have a question here. Um, I want you to convert 3.5 moles of iron into grams with an S. Now, hopefully you remember that one mole of iron is 55 0.85 grams per mole. So one mole weighs uh, 55.85, and you have 3.5 of them, so you really multiply them. And, and I know moles are a confusing term, but it's really like saying, let's say you had a box that weighed uh, 55.85 grams. What would 3.5 boxes weigh? Well, you're multiplying 3.5 times this number. It's really the same thing. Converting grams and moles is no different really than converting inches and centimeters and miles and yards and all sorts of things. Uh, it's the same general process, but we're going to use our unit conversions. If you remember this slide, um, I color coded it for you. The unit you want to change, we always start with what we're changing. We're converting moles into grams. So we have 3.5 moles of Fe. I'm going to write that small. Sometimes we have multiple elements in a problem, so we want to put a little subscript to signify what we're working with. Oh, the unit I want to change has to go here and here so it can cancel. So I know moles of Fe has to go down here. And I'm going into grams, and this conversion is directly possible. So grams of Fe. And the final answer obviously got to be in gram because uh, these are going to cancel. What's the relationship between grams and moles for iron? Well, one mole is 55.85 grams. So that's how we do it. You multiply across uh, 3.5 times 55.85 divided by 1, which doesn't matter. And you're going to get an answer you should around 195-ish, 195 grams. That's rounded. But that's how we do molar conversions. Just as we would convert uh, seconds to hours or feet to miles. Same exact thing. And if we keep track of our units and we follow this process, it's a good way not to go wrong. Um, so there are a lot of conversions we're going to look at and do. Recall that one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd units. Um, for any gas at STP, if you have a mole of gas, let's say it's air or oxygen, and if it's at a standard temperature and pressure, um, it's always going to take up 22.4 liters. Think of a 2-liter bottle of soda, about 11 of them. A mole of any gas, no matter what gas it is, will always take up that exact amount of volume. And that's another definition in terms of moles. And the idea is this chart right here, moles is the hub. Uh, you can convert grams into moles. You can convert moles into grams. You can convert moles into liters, liters into moles. Moles into atoms or atoms into moles. You cannot directly convert atoms into grams. You can, however, if I gave you a trillion atoms of something and said how much would it weigh, you can convert the atoms into moles and then convert the moles into 
grams. So we're going to do some two-part conversions in the next slide. Right now we're going to focus on uh, individual conversions. So we have silver here, and silver is 107.9 grams per mole. And I'm asking how many moles is 200 grams of silver? So we're starting with 200 grams of silver. So we have to start with 200 grams of silver. We have 200 grams of silver, 200 grams of AG, times, well, if grams of AG is here, it's got to go down here as well. And we want to go into moles, so we're going to put moles in the top. The relationship between moles and grams for silver, well, one mole of silver is 107.9 grams. So we set the problem up like this. Multiply across, divide by the bottom. These units cancel. Remember, whatever unit's up here, it's got to go down there, so they cancel. And when you do that, you get 1.85 moles of AG. Next question I already clicked on, how many grams is 3.5 moles of mercury? So we're going from moles to grams now. So we have to start with moles, 3.5 moles of Hg times some blank fraction. And if moles of Hg is here, moles got to go down here. Grams got to go up top. So mercury is 200.59. It's the same thing. We start with what we want to convert, 3.5 moles of Hg times, and moles of Hg has to go down here as well, and we're going to put the relationship between grams and moles in the top. For mercury, there's 200.59 grams per one mole. That's the conversion factor. And you multiply across, divide by one, turns out that 3.5 moles of mercury is 702.1 grams. How many atoms are there in 2.5 moles of Hg? Um, well now we're going from moles to atoms, and we're going to start with moles, 2.5 moles, Hg, times, blank fraction, moles of Hg, got to go down here, because that's what we want to uh, get rid of. What do we want to go into? We want to go into atoms. Ooh, what's the relationship between atoms and moles? This is a different one now. We're not using grams anymore. Well, one mole of anything is how many units? Avogadro's number, so you plug that number in right here. And now you multiply 2.5 times that really large number. And of course these moles cancel. So remember, one mole of anything is this many units of it. So we have to start using Avogadro's number now. And that's exactly what we see right here. 2.5 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, uh, divided by one, these units again cancel and you're just left with the unit that's over here. And you gotta make sure you know how to multiply these correctly. We did do scientific notation already this year, so you should be somewhat familiar with that. Uh, how many moles are there in five times 10 to the third atoms? Well, now we're starting with atoms and we are going into moles. So we're gonna have five times 10 to the third atoms of silver, AG, times Blank fraction, atoms is up here, it's got to go down here. I'm converting into moles, moles got to go up here. What's the relationship between moles and atoms? One mole is this many atoms. It's got to go down there. And I'll clean that up. So we, we have 5 times 10 to the 30th atoms of Hg, because that's what we're converting, times, well, if atoms of Hg is up here, it's got to go down here. So it cancels. Units cancel in division. And the relationship between a mole of silver and grams of silver uh, is going to be one mole. Or between atoms of silver, one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of silver. And when you do the math, 5 times 10 to the 30th times 1 divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, you should come up with this number. Some of you may need to double check your uh, arithmetic with scientific notation to make sure you're doing it correctly. Uh, moving on, how many moles are there in 400 liters of air at STP? So we have 400 liters of air and we want to go into moles. So 400 liters of air times, well, liters of air got to go here. And I want to go into moles. What's the relationship between moles and liters at STP? Well, at STP, one mole is always 22.4 liters. 
always it's like saying there's 12 inches in a foot. Um, so 400 times one divided by 22.4. So 400 times one and liters of air, liters of air, they cancel. We're just left with moles of air, 400 times one divided by 22.4 equals 17.9 moles of air. And I believe we have one more conversion to do. We're gonna go from moles to liters using the same conversion factor. How many liters is six moles of CO2 gas at STP? Again, we're starting with six moles. We have six moles of CO2 times, if moles of 602 is up here, we gotta put moles down here. And we're going into liters. What's the relationship between liters and moles? 22.4 liters is one mole for any gas at STP. So essentially just multiplying this across. So six moles times 22.4 liters um, divided by one. These units again cancel. We're left with liters as a final answer. So again, this is all just using conversion factors. Start with what you're converting. The unit that you start with, got to go down here. What you're converting into goes in the top. And then just think about what the relationship between them is. Is it Avogadro's number is one mole? Are we working with grams and we got to use the periodic table number? Or are we working with liters and we got to use 22.4 liters is a mole? So that's how we do one part uh, mole conversions. We are going to do some two parts where we go atoms into grams, which is just the same thing. We're just going to convert atoms into moles and then moles into grams in two steps. So there isn't really anything different there. This is as difficult as moles are going to get for us. Uh, hopefully you can calculate and convert between moles, grams, atoms, and liters now. Mr. Spong.